Have you been asked to write a lab report in past tense passive voice? Did you literally just spend decades of your life being told to avoid this writing style? Welcome to Chemistry in a Nutshell. Past tense means the event has already happened. It's not in the future, it's not in the present, it's in the past. It is over and done with. The water will be boiled. Future tense. The water is boiling. Present tense. The water was boiled. Past tense. I will drink tea. I am drinking tea. I drank tea. You will master scientific writing. You are watching a video about scientific writing. You have learned difficult things before. You want to write in past tense. Active voice versus passive voice. I love tea. Tea is loved or tea is loved by me. I love tea is in active voice. Tea is loved is in passive voice. So in active voice, the subject of the sentence is performing the action specified by the verb. So active voice usually has the format of subject, verb, object, or just subject, verb. So I love tea. I am drinking tea. The cat is chasing her tail. If you're writing about some lab experiment you carried out and you accidentally slip into active voice, generally the subject of the sentence is going to be a person. I measured out 50 milliliters of water. My lab partner caught his hair on fire. This is what you want to avoid. You want to write in passive voice. In passive voice, the subject of the sentence has the verb's action performed on it. If you've performed a lab experiment and you are writing about it in passive voice, in general, the subject of the sentence is not a person. The sample was evaporated. A volume of 50 milliliters of water was placed into a beaker. The paper was read. This is how you want to write for scientific writing. I have a challenge for you. I have three sentences written up here that are not currently in past tense passive voice, and I want you to rewrite them so that they are. The chemist placed sodium chloride into a beaker. I will click the like button on this video. The mixture is turning pink. Pause now if you want time to think about the corrected versions of these sentences, because the next thing I'm going to do is show you the answers. First sentence, the chemist placed sodium chloride into a beaker. The subject of this sentence is the chemist and the chemist is performing the action, placed sodium chloride into a beaker. So this is in active voice. In order to convert this into passive voice, we need to pick out what object in this sentence the verb's action is being performed on. So in this case, that is sodium chloride. So when we convert this into passive voice, sodium chloride needs to be our new subject. So we want to say, sodium chloride was placed into a beaker. Or if you really need to specify who did this, sodium chloride was placed into a beaker by the chemist. Second sentence, I will click the like button on this video. This has two problems. First, the subject is I. I will click, that is active voice. It is also in future tense. So we need to convert this both to passive voice and past tense. So the like button was clicked, or the like button was clicked on this video. Third example, the mixture is turning pink. The subject of this sentence is the mixture. That's not a person, so that's good. This is already in passive voice, but the mixture is, this is in present tense. We want it to be in past tense. So the mixture turned pink. I have a second challenge for you. In the comments down below, I want you to tell me what chemistry topics you want me to cover in upcoming videos, or tell me what you like most about my videos, but I want you to do this in past tense passive voice. Here are some other videos that I think you might like.